Today is awesome guys. We're gonna be checking out the new Pixel 6a, the baby to the 6 and the 6 Pro. It's still in its packaging obviously, so what do you say we pull the camera in, unbox this puppy and see what's inside and then I'll play around with it for a while and then I'll share with you my initial thoughts and impressions. And of course, I'll do a longer term full review later on to see if this is the best A series yet. So let's do this. A little funny thing about this packaging, it comes from California, but I was tracking this to FedEx and it went to Canada for some reason before coming to Maine. It's really weird. So um, yeah, we have this. I hope it's an easy unboxing. Hey, it's a original Google box too, like right here, recyclable, which is great. And a small, nice small box uh, for the phone itself. Let's put this away. There's no charger in this, by the way, so just something you know, should know. Uh, let's rip this open. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, check that sound out. And I got the, what is this green? I'm, I totally forgot. Oh my goodness. Can't believe it. It's green. I can't remember for the life of me what this is. Um, so anyways, I love the color though. This is awesome. Here are the usual cables. I think it's about a foot, foot and a half long. And then the uh, Tensor, uh, Google Tensor advertising right there, 6A. Let's see what's in the box right here. My guess it's like, oh, here's the SIM card ejector tool and other documentation. Pretty much same pair as other Pixel phones. Uh, yeah, that's about it. No charger as we mentioned before. All right, let's look at the phone real quick. This thing is all protected. USB-C at the bottom. Oh, it's nice that they have uh, indicators to tell you what they are. The SIM card is right here and the fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor would we'll see how fast this thing is compared to the uh, the much hated six, uh, sixes version. This is really nice and the first thing right off the bat you notice is the camera <laughs> hump. Look at this one. It's Let me see if I can do this side by side. The camera hump is completely flush on these. Wow, um, big difference. Come on, focus. I feel like a dork. I had to go back to the shipping order to find out the color of this thing. It's sage green in case you're wondering. And I know many of you are already like frantically typing below. Aaron, how can you not notice you're a YouTuber, dang it. Well, I'll tell you what, I suck at my job. Um, but anyways, this is $450. Um, the dimensions are much smaller now. 152 uh, in height, 72 by width, and also nine in thickness. For your reference, the Pixel 6 regular, 158 by 75 by nine. Thickness is the same, but they excluded the camera hump on this. So, you know, take that for what it is. The weight is 178 grams, aluminum frame. Oh, oh plastic back now. And already you can see fingerprints gathering on the back right here just from like few seconds of touching this. But I'll tell you what, in terms of look and feel, it reminds me of Samsung's glass stick. It's really nice and offers a whole lot more friction than the glass back on the Pixel 6 regular. Uh, man, this thing is really nice. But we'll find out once I put this on a really smooth surface whether this thing like walks away from you. Um, the screen, let me power this on so we can better talk to this. The screen is a 6.1 inch 1080 by uh, 2400 OLED uh, with Gorilla Glass 3. Pardon the noise, there's a lot of trucks outside. Gorilla Glass 3, it's a downgrade, huge downgrade, but we'll see in terms of performance whether that holds up. Uh, this comes with six gigabytes of DDR5 RAM with 128 gigs of onboard storage. There's currently uh, no bigger option available. It would be nice to have like 256. I mean, this is like the tail end of 2022. 256 should be standard by now. Uh, now running the uh, all the power in the background or you know the performance in the background is a Google Tensor chip, total transfer or transplant from the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro uh, with the Titan uh, M2 security coprocessor. That means there's a lot of power in terms of active and passive AI functions and Google Assistant accessibility and all that. So it's gonna be great. That's really one of the hallmarks of the uh, Pixel 6 series. Uh, on board as dual, uh, dual SIM here, regular. This is not your traditional, just your regular one SIM as well as eSIM. The camera, now rare cam, there's two uh, running the show here, 12.2 megapixel f1.7 with OIS, and a second cam, which is a wide angle with also 12 megapixels, f2.2, 114 uh, degrees of field of view. There's uh, one flash right here, as you can see, We'll compare the brightness of the two. Uh, and the, uh, let's see, the video, by the way, taps out at 4K 60 frames per second, max all the way down to 1080p at 240 frames per second, if you want to, that is. The selfie cam, it's eight megapixel uh, f2.0, 
There's only 1080, if I remember correctly, 1080 by 30 frames per second capability on this, which kind of sucks. Uh, stereo speakers, one at the front here and one downward firing. There are two mics for phone calls as well. NFC, Bluetooth 5.2. And the biggest news here is a so-called refresh or improved optical underscreen fingerprint sensor. Uh, compared to the regular 6, which was hated by a lot of people, we'll see if this is faster. So far, the verdict is out that says it's better and faster, but we'll see. Uh, there's IP67 dust water resistance as well, which is really nice to see on an A-series like this. The battery capacity is 4100 milliamp hours with 18 watts fast charging. And my guess is with the smaller screen as well as the Tensor chip, this thing might be a two-day device, which would be nice, right? Now, what you won't get with the 6A is any kind of micro SD card slot expansion, which granted has been the case with Pixel since like the beginning of time, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. There's no headphone jack either. There's no optical zoom for any of the cameras, just so you know, you have to rely on digital. There's no wireless charging. And also there's no higher screen refresh rate because this is fixed at 60. And I know this has been huge on Reddit. People have been like firing left and right. There is a, they say this is like a deal breaker. But this panel, if I'm not mistaken, is a Samsung and usually on a day-to-day -day basis, 60 Hertz is more than enough unless you're like gaming like hard. Um, so anyways, the screen is fine to me at least for right now, first impressions. So let me continue setting this up and then I'll play around with it and we'll talk through it uh, in a bit. So I've completed the setup and now I'm gonna talk about some high level things that you might be interested in. And I'm gonna compare it with the Pixel 6. I have screen recording on on both so you can better see on certain examples like the camera as well as the navigation and the display and such like that. In terms of color calibration, they're very, very similar in terms of the display. I have this, by the way, the only thing that I've changed so far is uh, setting the screen uh, calibration to native or natural. Both of these are natural. I don't like the boosted colors. Um, and the other thing that I always do is to turn on developer settings and change the animation scale to 0.5 times. So, you know, that speeds or seemingly speeds things up a little bit, which is nice. Um, but other than that, everything is just as it is. And one thing I want to test right off the bat, I hope it's still recording. Fingerprint sensor, it's so far, I've tested this a few times and it's snappier, that's for sure. And it picks up my fingers much better. And I heard also on the news that, you know, there's a security issue that other fingerprints that are not recorded in on the phone can't, like if I get my wife to turn it on, it might, might work. So there's a flaw right there and I hope Google pushes out an update. I'm sure they're working on it. Um, that's a huge deal for in terms of security. But in terms of the speed, whew, this thing is better. Yes, nice. Um, Navigation, yeah, you can see like when I scroll the news here, there's a lot of tearing or not a lot, but that's the usual 60 hertz tearing. I don't find it a big deal. It, sure, if I switch over to the Pixel 6 and do the same with the news, let me just unlock this and yeah, if I do the same with the news, it's much smoother. Look at this, this is 90 hertz. You, you don't see as much tearing, which is good, but 60 hertz and, and I have to say this panel on the 6a is a little bit brighter I have both of these in the same settings a little bit past halfway I think like 50% 55% and this thing seems to be brighter the whites are wider and it, it just feels more vibrant at least to me so yeah I have to do further testing navigation it's a tensor chip this thing is basically the same they're running it oh man the six has eight gigabytes of ram but at this you know just regular use you can't tell the difference the fingerprint sensor so we find out that's good um in terms of build quality as i mentioned before the plastic is really a good imitation of glass in my mind it's really nice it's a little bit hollow of course um, the weight distribution, I noticed, it was really severe on the Pixel 6, where the camera module is at the top, obviously, and it was heavier at the top. And it's the same thing with the uh, 6A. It's definitely lighter because of the smaller weight, but I was at uh, smaller dimensions, but I was expecting something a whole lot lighter. And in terms of weight distribution, it feels top heavy. So if I hold this upside down with the camera at the bottom, you can definitely feel all the weight down here and it's much lighter there. There's less, you know, tendency to roll forward. And in this case, there's that. It's not drastic, guys. I'm not mentioning this just to like, oh, it's really bad. Just something to point out. I can feel the difference. It's top heavy. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, let's do the camera. And this is the part where a lot of you are probably wondering. So this is regular zoom. I'm doing portrait. This is zoom out 0.6 times. I think it's 0.7 times on the Pixel 6 regular. And then here's two times zoom. Don't forget, this is all digital. I'm gonna snap a picture right here. Let's do a couple of shots. Widescreen, 
a wide angle, one shot, and then regular, and then two times zoom, pardon my horrendous desk, and then I'll do the same, try to get the same shot for the uh, Pixel 6. So this is regular, and then zoomed out 0.7 times, and then two times zoom. So we'll take one a wide angle for kicks, regular. You see the shift in the lens there? And then two times zoom. All right. Now, um, the other thing I wanna test is video. Let's do a quick recording, not two times zoom, regular. And I'm gonna talk through this, uh, and then we'll test the speakers on these and how that goes, um, at least I hope so, because the speaker quality is something a lot of people ask about as well, like how to do sound with music and such like that. I mean, it is what it is. They're small phones and they're, you know, you might as well just use earbuds or headphones, but you know, we're gonna be testing this. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same with the, and remember this has also OIS, let's zoom back out again. All right, so we're in the 6A. This has OIS, so stabilization. Let's see what we got here. It is running, so, which is good. I really like, let's do zoom out and zoom in. Just for kicks, we're looking at this. You can already see that there's a lot of, there's some pixelation and noise because this is digital. So something to bear in mind, right? How are you guys doing? And the dimensions, guys, this is so much smaller, which is really nice, right? Side by side, oh yes. And I really like the color, this is much punchier. Okay, so um, let's test the speaker on this. I'm gonna play this back. How do we get there? All right, let's go back up here. Turn up the volume. Stabilization, let's see what we got How's that? here. Um, you can already see that there's a lot of... There's I feel like the, the stereo effect is imbalanced in this case. It reminds me of the Pixel 2 uh, when it first came out. The bottom firing was louder than the top. And in this case, it is quite different from the 6, the regular 6. This thing is more neutral. Um, and you can probably hear... Yeah, you can probably hear that this is... So I blocked it out. Um, that this is louder in the bottom and softer in the top. Something to bear, bear in mind. I'm sure they will tweak this if this becomes a big enough complaint. <laughs> I'm not sure why I kept staring up at the microphone, but you know, as I mentioned before, I kind of suck at my job. Uh, anything else? Well, I'm really happy with the navigation on this thing. If you have anything, by the way, you want me to check out or in my full review, comment down below and I'll take it and run with it or try to anyway. Uh, definitely gonna be comparing it with the 6 as well as the Samsung, which really at this point, they're all around the same price now because this is the big thing. Everyone's like hailing the 6A as like, oh, look, this is the uh, biggest deal of the century, the best 6. But don't forget the uh, six regular 6, the price has dropped to about the same price as this thing now, 499 or 480 or something. Uh, just a few months ago, they dropped this. So this is really getting close uh, together. So this might be the better buy overall if you don't mind the size and some of the you know, slower fingerprint sensor and such like that. Just a better camera package overall. Uh, but other than that, oh, selfie camera. I want to test this out. Jeez. Uh, you can decide for yourself whether that's fine. I think it's perfectly fine. You know what, let me do portrait because this is really what it's for. Let's see how the blurring is like. Let's go back to one time zoom and let's see. Uh, so, okay. Um, everything is smooth because, you know, obviously it runs a Tensor chip, six gigs of RAM, no complaints whatsoever. I did notice quite a bit of heating. When I was setting up this phone, the back panel got quite hot. So I hope in terms of gaming and such and out there, if you're from Texas or Phoenix, Arizona at 115 degrees or whatever, this might burn up. Uh, so something to bear in mind. I hope this was not like, I hope this was the worst case scenario where, you know, first time set up, obviously everything is running in the background. Um, and that's all the kind of heating because plastic should be cooler, I hope, than all glass. So that's the hope anyway. Flashlights, I wanna do that real quick and see compared to brightness on this. Noisy trucks. How's that? It's about the same. Uh, I'll have to do this in a further test, take this up into a 
attic or something and then we'll compare the two. So uh, again, guys, if there's anything you want me to test in the full review, uh, just ahead of time, I'll accept anything from you guys for the next few, next week or two and then I'll, I'll try to test them. Again, thank you for guys for watching. This is a quick unboxing of the 6A. I'm excited. I'm also getting the uh, Pixel Buds Pro coming in. So I'll pair it together and play around with it and see how that goes. Um, some of you already mentioned that you already have one of these. You bought one for yourself. Some of you longtime viewers, congratulations. I hope you enjoy your new phone. If you're shopping for one a budget Pixel series, this might be the new king of the A series, but uh, we'll find out in my full review. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I love y'all for always joining me. And remember to support this channel if you can. Thumbs up if you like this video. Comment nicely down below. Use nice language and be respectful of each other. Um, subscribe to this channel. Yeah, mash and kill the button. Turn on the bell notification icon. Tell friends and family about it too. Visit my Patreon page if, if, page if you want to financially support me. There's also the super, is it super thanks button down below on YouTube if you want to do the same. And also guys, remember as always to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world because guess what? The world needs it more than ever and it starts with you. I love y'all very much and I'll see y'all the next time. Whoosh.